Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today I'm bringing you guys another LEGO haul full of store exclusives and some fun surprises. For the weekly giveaway, simply comment and subscribe and you could win a prize. I'm back with another mystery haul because my boxes and bags are piling up, so let's get right into it. First up, I had one last gift card to use at Toys R Us, so I picked up a couple Speed Champion sets, but they canceled my Ford Mustang order and just sent the Ferrari 488 GT3 Scuderia Corsa. This set has some great shaping and even a female driver, so I'm at least happy to have this one, though I'm very sad about Toys R Us. From one of the Toys R Us stores, my brother was lucky enough to help me find the Mini Ultimate Batmobile Polybag. As a huge LEGO Batman movie fan, I'm so excited to pick up this set. But as a true fan, I couldn't pick up just one, because there's three different builds that you can make from this polybag, and they all combine. Next up from Target stores, I picked up another copy of the Outrider Dropship Attack set. And this is only to take advantage of the Angry Teen Groot Polybag that came free with the set. And this is a pretty cool keychain, and I may even try my hand at taking out the keychain to make it a normal minifigure. While on vacation in Arizona, I picked up two poly bags from their Walmart store. First up was the one I really wanted, which is the mini Guardian ship from Avengers Infinity War. And it even comes with the small pod, so I can recreate the combination from my latest reviews. I also picked up this Lego City poly bag, as it had a pretty neat design and an interesting printed tile on that sign. Next up, I went to the container store to pick up a clear acrylic display case they had on sale, which is not necessarily a Lego item, but something that will enhance my displays. I of course had to test out the case by tossing in some of the mighty micros I got in my most recent haul, and it looks really great with a nice premium quality. And last up, an order from Shop at Home netted me one of my last LEGO Batman sets I needed, which is the Justice League Anniversary Party. And with such a fun set with great figures, I'm really not sure what took me so long. And next up, we've got the LEGO Fun Future 60th Anniversary set. And you know me guys, I just had to hit that shipping minimum. But the real reason I placed this order was for for the Easter Bunny set, and this was an exclusive promotion they had going on, and it comes with a really great figure. With the outer sleeve removed, you can see all the printing on the different sides of the box, and inside is that great figure. So there you have it guys, another really fun haul full of some really interesting sets I can't wait to start building. I'm probably most excited about the mini Ultimate Batmobile poly bags and that new display case. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe, because I've got live builds, reviews, and more 2018 set news coming soon. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think of my haul? And what have you guys gotten in a haul lately? And remember, for my weekly giveaways, simply comment and subscribe and you could win a prize. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here, looking to find out if the Thor's Weapon Quest set is worth it. And don't forget to subscribe, 